Mark your calendars now because the Durham 150 opening celebration is one event you don't want to miss. The free event will be held on Saturday, April 13th at the American Tobacco Campus from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. It will include live entertainment, a photo mosaic mural that will recognize the year's activities, and a story kiosk for attendees to share their stories on video. Four areas of the American Tobacco Campus will also be set aside as neighborhoods to feature exhibits, local experts, artists, and activities that reflect each of the four themes of the celebration. Those themes are history and education, innovation and entrepreneurship, social equity and robust democracy, and arts and leisure. The event will conclude with a running of the bulls. That's where up to 2,000 attendees will receive a floatable rubber bull to race down the American Tobacco Campus River. The top three winning bull owners will win prize packages, and all participants can take home a bull as a souvenir. For more information, visit Durham150.org. Applications are now being accepted for the police department's summer camps. The camps are open to youth ages 9 to 13 and include daily field trips and recreational, educational, and social activities with police officers and other campers. The goal of the camps is to add structured activities to the summer months and to strengthen law enforcement's relationship with participating youth and their families. The three week-long sessions will be held from June 17th to the 21st, July 15th to the 19th, and August 12th to the 16th. Applications are available at DurhamPolice.com, then click on Forms. They can also be picked up at the front desk of the police headquarters and at various elementary and charter schools. Completed applications must be returned to the on-duty desk officer located on the first floor of police headquarters by May 3rd. If you share your thoughts about food waste and composting with the city, you could win a $100 Visa gift card. In case you don't know, composting is the gathering and mixing of yard and or food waste in order to convert it over time to a rich material suitable for building better soils and growing healthier plants. A study that was conducted in 2015 discovered that nearly 30% of landfill material from Durham residents is food and soiled paper, most of which can potentially be composted. Now the city's solid waste management department is trying to better understand the food waste and composting habits of residents. To help collect this information, an online survey has been created in both English and Spanish and is available until May 31st. Anyone who completes the survey will be entered to win one of three $100 Visa gift cards in a random drawing. To complete the survey, visit DurmanC.gov 832. As part of a national community resilience program, the city is working to make sure that city-owned buildings and critical infrastructure are better prepared for extended power outages. Durham will be joining seven other cities in the National League of Cities Leadership and Community Resilience Program. Through the program, the city will be working to determine the costs and benefits of expanding its solar capacity, as well as battery storage at City Hall, the Police Department, and the Emergency Communications Center. The experience of two extended power outages in 2018 from tropical storm damage has energized the city to increase its resilience. Its facilities can serve as emergency response shelters for residents while also providing power for emergency management efforts. Durham will receive $10,000 in direct financial support from the National League of Cities as well as technical assistance and professional development. If you're a Durham business owner and you want to improve your building location, you may want to consider applying for a grant from the city. Applications are being accepted for building improvement grants within the downtown development tier, that includes Parish Street and the 9th Street Commercial Corridor. The grant requires that eligible applicants own the building and it must be non-residential. The total value of the project cannot exceed $1 million and the minimum total project capital investment must be at least $225,000. Grant recipients are eligible to receive up to $75,000 in matching funds from the grant program. To find out whether your project is within the eligible geographic location, you can contact the Durham Development Services Center at 919-560-4137. The deadline to apply is April 18th. An overview of the grant guidelines and application process is available at durhamnc.gov 479.